brief. But there is something very important that we need to do as you start your lives together. You're going to make commitments to each other. And while I've never presided at or even attended a wedding that's quite like this, I really love this. I love being at the table with family. So I'm going to uh, make a statement first to John and then to Jessica, after which, if you agree with it, you will say, I do. And then we will exchange rings, okay? John, these promises or vows that you are about to make are before God and before me. And as you make them, I want you to think on them and as you go forward to remember this commitment that you're making today and live by these vows for the rest of your life. John, do you, John, take Jessica to be your wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until you are parted by death? As God is witness, do you give Jessica your promise? I do. Jessica, do you, Jessica, take John to be your husband? To have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until you are parted by death. As God is witness, do you give John your promise? I do. Wonderful. You both brought rings that uh, are tokens of your love. And when you wear these rings, it's a sign to all that you are around who see you of your love for each other. They are also symbolic of the fact that you belong to another. You are unavailable. <laughs> and you are committed to one another only. John, would you take the ring that you brought for Jessica and place it on her finger? And repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a token of my love for you. As my token of my love for you. As a sign to all who see it. As a sign to all who see it. That you belong to me. That you belong to me. I give you my name, my home, my heart. I give you my name, my home, and my heart. I promise to forsake all others. <clears throat> Promise to forsake all others and cleave to you. And cleave to you and to you only. And to you only for as long as we shall live. For as long as we shall live. Jessica, would you take the ring that you brought to John and place it on his finger? <laughs> and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my love for you. As a token of my love for you. And as a sign to all who see it. As a sign to all who see it. That you belong to me. That you belong to me. I give you wait a minute, I lost my place. <laughs> I promise to forsake all others. I promise to forsake all others. And cleave to you. And cleave to you. And to you only. For as long as we shall live. For as long as we shall live. Before we pronounce, I'm going to ask Ray, if you would, to lead us in prayer. Sure. Let me get back here a little bit. Y'all join hands and place it with mine. Place y'all hands together with mine. Right. <clears throat> Father, we exalt you today and we lift up the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for Jesus. Lord, we bless your name today, and we want to say thank you today, Lord. Thank you for what's happening at this moment. And Father, I first of all, Lord, I thank you for John. 
I believe that he's a man sent by God to Jessica, Brianna, James's life. Lord, I thank you for him. And not also for them, but also for my family, for Peggy and I and our family. So I thank you for John, Lord. I see his heart, and I see the way that you work through him and his love that's just coming through his life. And I thank you for this man of God. And Father, I pray that as of this moment on, he's become the spiritual leader of this home. 